Hi, I'm Adrian. I'm a proud Ewan man from Lapa. Hi, I'm Imogen Grant, and I'm a proud Ewan woman from New South Wales, South Coast. Hi, my name is Taurus Lyons. I'm a proud Bidjigal and Raju man. Hi, my name's Mia Gregory. I'm from Tauri, and I'm a proud Birupai woman. I'm Melody, and I'm a proud Bunjalung woman. I'm Natalie, and I'm a proud Eora and Jirinja woman. Hi, I'm Jaden Sims. I am a Bidjigal, Ewan, and Kalkadoom, and Gudnungara man. I'm a proud Aboriginal Australian. For over 60,000 years, we've shared our stories of creation, culture, and the environment. We have passed these down from generation to generation through language, music, and art. South Sydney have been a part of that community for over 113 years. With each generation of players sharing their knowledge with the next. This year, we honour the land that our warriors fought for, the land our players go into battle for, embracing and empowering our community of local leaders. This is the story of our 2021 Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander jersey. First and foremost, Jingi Walla, mean g'day. I'm Joe Walker from Wallable tribe in Tabulum. Fortunate to come back down again and help do the jersey and to do it with some of the kids, the young kids from down this way, and teaching them a little bit of the Aboriginal heart and and not only that, just encouraging them to do to do whatever goals they set and they're going for, yeah. Right, it says, so I'm Latrell Mitchell. Um, I'm a proud Biripal Radjuri man I'm from Taree. I was born and raised there. I'm Melody Roberts and I'm from Bunjalung, but I was born and raised in Liverpool Beautiful. with my family. So what do you think of the jersey? I think it's really cool. It turned out really well. I didn't know how it would turn out. I like it. I like the design. Do you want, um, do you want to tell us a little bit about the jersey, like what, what the yeah, symbols sure. and the totems are? So we've um, obviously got our whale, which is mm -hmm. the Bidjigal mob, um, and we've got our Goana, which is Gadigal, mm -hmm. um, and these are like the two big communities that you guys mostly train on and are connected to. Mm -hmm. um, so we really wanted to like incorporate that in the jersey. Um, we've got all seven of the kids' handprints, including mine. You're a Lapa boy, aren't you? Yeah, of course I am. Yeah, man. The way. I, I played for Lapa growing up since mm -hmm. nine to under 16s. So I played out there my juniors. So, what do you think it would be, you know, being from Lapa, uh, you know, for the community uh, being represented on the jersey? would be big, it's big, you know, because I don't think we've ever had this like during back in the day and, uh, and it's always been my vision in that to like come up and do this, you know, like have the whale, at least something from Lapa on a, a South Jersey at least. Sweet, bro. I think it's really good on the sleeves as well. You've got Aboriginal colours there and the Torres Strait on the other side. Um, what was your favourite part about the jersey? Um, like painting it with my uncle. Oh yeah? Yeah. Did have a good time? Yeah. I think it's unreal, bro. You've done a really good job. Like I've always said, being a Torres Strait Island boy, um, I understand I'm on Aboriginal land and um, I'm very proud to be able to represent this jersey and I guess represent the two totems. So I just want to say thanks for your input and I can't wait to get out there and um, do this jersey proud for you. You've got all these like men sitting around in like a yarning circle and it's to represent all of you players. The players, yeah. Um, so that you're obviously connected to the jersey yeah, too yeah. when you're wearing it. Okay. Um, and then you've got... In the back? The back, yeah. You've two got men, um, yeah. two men, which is yeah. Pemway. Pemway, yeah. Um, and then you've got your footprints. What is the meaning between, obviously, you know, Pemway is our, the, you know, the legend warrior, the, the myth, the dream time, you know, um, hero. So what's um, the whole thing around it with putting it on the jersey? Um, I think as Aboriginal people and as an Aboriginal community, we're all really strong and warriors in ourselves and as a community, and I think we just really wanted to show it and express it, especially in something that's really Aboriginal and something that always brings us together, both in our artworks and in rugby. Yeah. So I think our main goal was just to show that we are strong and we come together for stuff like this, and it's stuff like our elders, like our dream time stories, that bring us together, which brings us to tech. Uh, and basically how I see it um, is that you guys look like warriors when you go out on that field and you represent not even like just Redfern but like our entire nation. Um, talk us through the experience of um, you know, doing the workshop with Uncle Joe. He's um, 
He's designed our jersey for a number of years now. and We all put out our ideas and he didn't really influence us much on what to do. He just let us be creative with it and he was supportive of everything that we did. And it was really good to hear all the stories he was telling us. I was very surprised how well they come along with it and talking about their life past and, and enjoying it as we go along doing the design. They respect you and then and vice versa, you know, you give that respect back and to see them sort of, you see that little flicker of that light glowing, they're ready to shine. I said, it'll shine, you watch, come to, come to football or when you go to, with, at the game, you, your face will just light up. Uh, these totems and um, tribes are a bit different to mine, but um, obviously we're gonna be pretty proud to represent yeah. them and represent you guys. And um, we're happy that you guys have got to do it because we want to sort of give back to the community. You know, we incorporated the, the local Aboriginal community uh, in the jersey this year. And um, in previous years, we've had our um, own personal brand on the jersey. And I think it's, it's an important step that we took a step back this year. Tell us what it's going to mean to, to you and your family seeing you know, your handprint on the jersey and, and your tribe. It's not only going to represent like and make me feel good about myself and my tribe and my family, but it's going to represent like every Indigenous like kid that you know looked out and watched all your games, watched any NRL game, and you guys, you know, you inspire a lot of the youth and like um, even the adults around us, and you know, you give us a real good name for ourselves. Well, South Sydney has been a big part of my family. Going to the games with my dad and my family, it was just really a really thing that brings me and my family together. It's something we still do. So you guys just walking out of it, it makes me very proud to be Indigenous and able to share yeah. that with my family and well, yeah. Thank you, thanks for sharing that and um, you know I'm going to wear it with pride and um, I know you'll, you'll be you know, feeling the same way so um, we thank you again for designing it and um, yeah can't wait. Like a proud moment to see us run out on like the jerseys that we all had an input on. Yeah well for me personally I yeah. can't wait to put on the jersey and mm. you know every year it's you know, been about us but finally giving back to the community and wearing I can't wait to represent, you know, LARPA and um, yeah. obviously where I play junior, so I can't wait to put it on. Mm. And I can't wait to see you play on it. I'll, I'll be awesome, yes. Thanks, bro. It looks mad. Thanks, bro. Yeah, no, that's right, bro.